Hi, I'm Ron Polk. Your voice has been heard, so it sounds like metric is the way to go. So it'll be one size fits all. Just to give you a quick update on where I'm at, I've got a long way to go now, except, you know, I'm going to do all the sawhorses and everything, but I wanted to work the top out first because this is the most critical component to get everything to work around this. And so I've made it to 1800 millimeters by 900 millimeters. So it's a little less than six feet. And then I've done the layout of the holes. Instead of doing the 32 millimeter spacing uh, or the 32 millimeter dimensioning of the bench, I decided to just go with the straight 1800. And then I took the holes, which are placed three times 32 or 96, which is the uh, CNC machine standard spacing for the tooling. And it'll still work with the 32 millimeter system, just multiples of three. And I've centered the holes. And so on the edges, uh, in from the edge, I'm at 36. And then I've got the 96 millimeter spacing. I've taken the uh, dado um, here. I've made it 18 millimeters instead of three quarter. That's something I'm going to check in the shop when I actually build this. Because obviously, I always test my plans. I, I build them out and then I come back and then I make adjustments so that everything works. So I, I'm not sure if 18 millimeter will work with most standard machinery with the, the tooling that comes, you know, for your miter gauges and things uh, that might have to still be three quarter. I'll, I'll figure that out in the shop. American standard guys, and I intentionally say American standard be, and instead of imperial because there is a bit of a difference. American standard is actually, at least as I understand it, uh, technically what we call it in the US, where a standard, if you say standard worldwide, that usually means metric because it's more of a worldwide standard. But we can't really use an uh, imperial here because, uh, or at least that nomenclature because it's British imperial or American standard. They're very similar, they're feet and inches and all of that, but tonnage is different, like a ton, uh, an imperial ton is heavier than an American ton, a gallon is different. So it is a different measuring system. So we have, you know, uh, American standard, British imperial, and then uh, the metric. And metric is the most worldwide and accepted and used everywhere, including in the US. You guys that are living in the metric world, the real standard world, you already have metric tapes. It's not a big deal. For, for my mates here in the US, they've mentioned it's hard to get a metric tape. Well, I haven't found that to be the case. My favorite tape measures are from FastCap. They've got a whole array of different tapes and I have six or eight different models for different things and multiples of each. This is their metric standard. It's a really nice blade. This is my favorite blade of any tape that I've had. I love the white, it's very easy to read and it's got the best um, American standard scale that I've seen and that's with the inches and then the um, the breakdown of the fractions but it's also got the metric so that's really helpful for us guys that know the American standard first so we can kind of get close and then go to the millimeter and know that yeah we're uh, we're going to be about three feet so we can go to there and then we see the the 900 and uh, but anyway, really easy to read and, and, and you've got both and I put this or I had Chris just now put this in my Amazon store, which there's a link to that down below. In addition to that, always on my benches, I have recommended fast caps rule. And this is a flat, it's the, it's the same with this, this uh, tape here. It's, it's easy to read. This one happens to be a feet and inches only, um, but this is not what I use. They make the exact, this exact same tape, probably upside down. They make this exact, this one's curved because it's meant to roll up, but they make the same scale on this. And I have put this also in my Amazon store and when I do do when I make plans I always put links in embed links in the plans 
so you know exactly the materials, uh, not for wood and stuff, but for things specific like router plates and stuff, I put those in. So I'll have that there, but also it is right now in my Amazon store. But this is the best stuff. There's no sticky on either side. It comes with a roll of double stick, the best double stick tape also from FastCap. And you peel it off and stick it on and it does not come off. What's cool about their tapes, um, one, they're again, they're white, they're easy to read and then labeled both in the metric and the American standard. And so if you're working on your miter saw and it's set up, you've got a set of metric, you still have the standard numbers there uh, to speed things up when you need it. But the, um, the other thing they do about theirs that's really kind of neat is it's a 16 foot long tape and it's printed in reverse on the opposite side. So if you need eight feet or under, you can cut it right in the middle, take the fall off piece, flip it around and you know, upside down and it, it'll read proper. So it'll read right to left, left to right. So you don't have to buy a right to left, left to right. They only make one and it's just the way you put it on. And again, any, if you're under eight feet, you get two uh, that, you know, that, you know, reversible so you can make them work on both sides of the total station. That being said, for my finish work, this is my miter saw. So I want for my production work, I do a lot of eight foot doors. And so one of the things I have to cut a lot of over and over are door legs. And so the door legs, depending on the width of the material need, I need to have a stop that goes out to eight foot four, sometimes even longer. And so my extensions and everything I set up, it has to go beyond eight feet. So I still buy two of these and I use uh, a little bit more than half on one side. And then I've got the other one, I use a little bit more than half flipped around, uh, you know, right to left, left to right on the other side. But then I have the leftover that I can use for other tooling. Um, as well, still plenty long, you know, just a, a little, you know, seven and a half feet or so left over. So there's a there's a link to my Amazon store, but the, the link to my website, if you go to my website, Paul Combs website, and you look, you'll see there is a Ron store. If you click on that, that is my Amazon store. And then because I've got so many tools in there, um, I have uh, featured items, power tools, hand tools, dust and vac, uh, miscellaneous so you sort of have to hunt around I'm trying to make those as clear as possible wearables um, I get a lot of questions about that but if you go to the featured items um, that'll change sometime but right now because we're talking about these um, I put the um, tape measure here this is the standard metric tape measure that I just showed you it's right there and then this is the adhesive 16 foot um, rule that I showed you in both uh, American Standard and Metric on the same tape. So I've put those right there so they'll be easy to find. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And right next to this subscribe button is a bell. Click on that bell and you'll be notified every time I post a new video. But most important, I haven't said this in a while, I wanna grow my subscriber base. So share these videos with others and any carpenters, budding carpenters, or even the you know the pro guys, it's it's amazing how no matter how long we've been at this, we can always learn. And it doesn't mean that I know more than somebody else. It's just I may know something different. I learn from carpenters all the time, and photographers and videographers that I've been at it a lot longer than them. But they, uh, particularly the young folks, come in and learn amazing you know stuff in a different way of doing things so i love learning from everybody so again even if you know an old salty pro share this channel with him there may be something that he'll go and the light bulb will come on hey thanks for taking the time to watch have a great day